There are two ways to look at the great locomotive chase. One, did I personally enjoy it? Two, is it technically a good film? This is a Disney film from 1956. It's directed by Francis D. Leon and written by Lawrence Edward Watkin. And it stars Fez Parker and a whole cast of other really brilliant actors. Mostly males, <laughs> I have to say. But it works for the narrative. And when I said I have to judge it in two ways, did I enjoy it? I didn't not like it. But it's not my kind of story. And that's partly because of a lack of knowledge on my part. This is set during the, the Civil War. And it's about a, a union spy, uh, or union, various union spies, who steal um, a train from the Confederate side. And, well, everything that happens after that, I won't spoil it and give away too much. There's a little bit more information about that on IMDb. Uh, I went into it having not looked at IMDb before watching it, and I very quickly realised that was a bad move on my part. I didn't really understand a lot was, of what was going on to begin with, so I had to pause it, go and read a little bit around it without spoiling it, of course, and then have a little bit more context. And that's not the film's fault, but I do think there is this assumed level of knowledge for the viewer that you have to know at least a little bit about the civil war honestly my knowledge is very 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 basic but credit to the film it has taught me a little bit so because it's not my kind of narrative because i don't really know anything about the civil war i didn't really fully engage with it as much as i would have liked to that's not to say i didn't necessarily like any of the characters or anything but for me there were a lot of gaps in my knowledge that the film didn't plug. So I'm well aware that I'm not the target audience, aside from being a Disney fan. And that's just something worth bearing in mind, that if you want to watch this, but you don't know much about the Civil War, I would say that it might not be the easiest to follow. And as I said, I had to pause it and do a little bit of reading just to brush up on the bare basics, to be perfectly honest. But if you know a lot about the Civil War... I think it will definitely be a very different viewing experience. If I went back and watched it immediately again now, I'd have a little bit more context and understanding and would at least be able to watch it without needing to pause it. So that's the one side. The other side is, is it technically a good film? I'd say yes. It's very well filmed. The train scenes, which is a lot of it, are very, very well done. I think the pacing of the narrative is really good. The characters, as I said, are good you know, well-written characters from my perspective. But again, if you have a deeper understanding of the Civil War and how the spies would have acted, maybe you think differently. I would really love to know if they are represented in a way that you would expect or if they're maybe inaccurate. Really, really keen to enhance my knowledge of this area because, as I said, my, my knowledge is next to nothing. Slightly improved now, thanks to the Great Locomotive Chase, but we're still talking bare bones. But I do think it's technically a good film. The music's good, sound effects are good, characters are, are likeable or easy to get on board with, easy to follow. I wasn't emotionally involved in this film, but I think one could be if you have a, a deeper understanding of what's going on or you know you have a history of family members taking part in... I don't think taking part is the right phrase, but family members who were involved in the Civil War. So it's not bad. From my perspective, it seems like a good film technically. I can't say how historically accurate it is. I'd love to know if anybody can you know, confirm that it's pretty accurate or point out anything that's maybe creative liberties. I would love to know. In terms of being enjoyable, obviously I enjoyed bits of it. I love trains. I love films about trains. But in general, I, I struggled at times and I had to do a little bit of research. But that's not the film's fault. If you're going to watch a film about the Civil War, I think you need to at least have, unless it's meant to be a tell-all story that takes you through the entirety of the Civil War in a, a brief overview, I guess. But when it's like this, I think it's fine for the film to assume that the viewer has some kind of knowledge and interest in the Civil War. That's not to say I don't have an interest in it. I do. But when your starting point is zero, it does require a tiny bit of research. Either way, I enjoyed bits of it. I think as my knowledge improves, or indeed as my knowledge has improved with this, it would be a different viewing second time round. Would love to know what you think of it, if you are quite knowledgeable about the Civil War, or even just deeply interested in it. And indeed, if you watch it 
like me, just to watch it because you're a Disney fan and want to, you know, take it off of your list, as was my intention, I'd be keen to know what you think of it too. Not a bad film. Wouldn't watch it again immediately, but maybe one day as my knowledge improves. Feel free to educate me about the Civil War. Definitely want to improve my knowledge there. For now, don't mind having watched The Great Locomotive Chase. If it sounds like your kind of film, I'd say it's probably worth it.